Hello, my fellow conquistadors. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your UCI email on the iPad mail app at the bottom of the screen there. Um, the reason why I want to show you how to do this is because I think it will save you a lot of time if you set it up this way. Um, I see a lot of people logging into Merlin uh, from Safari and then logging into Web Outlook and then typing in their username and password every time um, and checking their mail that way. Um, hate to say this, but uh, that's not the most efficient way. Um, it's much easier and faster to do it through ma the mail app. So you just open up the app and it'll automatically you know, log in for you and check your email and everything. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you how to do that. So first thing you want to do is open up settings. And then on the left hand side you want to select mail contacts calendars. And uh, then over here at the bottom you see add account. So just select that. And then you want to select Microsoft Exchange at the top. Um, and then uh, type in your UCI email address. You want to say at uh, hs.uci.edu. The hs for some reason is important uh, in the way Exchange works and everything. Uh, domain is going to be hs by itself and nothing else. Your username is your whatever user ID you log in with um, on Merlin. And then password is going to be your password. Um, for sake of privacy, I'm not going to actually type it in. Um, and for those who wanted to know my password, so you could log in my email and then email all kinds of people. I've, I'm one step ahead of you. I've uh, copied my password onto the clipboard, and I'm just going to paste it here. There. No one can know what it is. It's super secret. And then description, I'm just going to call it UCI so I know what it is because I have my Gmail set up on my mail also, so I don't want to, I want to know what email is in what inbox. And then I'm going to say next. So this should pop up. Um, if it doesn't, uh, just go back, watch the video again, and make sure you follow the exact instructions. Um, and then the only thing different is the server is all uh, filled out. That's what you want. And then you want to hit next. And uh, here you see, you know, mail, contacts, and calendars. Um, for those of you who want to use UCI as your primary calendar. Uh, which I do, uh, you want to turn the calendar on and quick aside here, the reason why you'd want to do that is uh, if you have a smartphone you can set up uh, your uh, UCI email the following the exact same instructions as here so if you have an iPhone or something like that you can set up your UCI email using uh, using these instructions and then you can set uh, turn on the calendar there too and then whenever you create an event on your iPad or your iPhone it will go on the calendar and will be synced to your email account and uh, be synced to whatever other devices that you have. So when I, when, I, when I create an event on my iPad, it shows up on my iPhone and vice versa. And if you have set it up, set it up on your computer also, um, you can also see your uh, calendar there and everything will be pushed automatically to all your devices. And uh, we're going to have another video showing you how to set up your uh, UCI email and calendar on a Mac and a PC. So that way, you know, you just create an event at one place and it will be pushed everywhere. Uh, so all your calendars are synced. You don't have like five different calendars on every single device. You have a different calendar, which is a pain. So anyway, um, sorry for that, uh, for drifting off there. But uh, back to our main goal here, setting up the email account. Uh, everything seems like it's good. I'm going to hit save. And it says account added. And um, it should go away, but looks like it's frozen, which is not good. Let's see if I can get out of it. Mm, come on. This usually doesn't happen. I don't know what happened there. But anyway, uh, looks like it's here. One thing you do want to do, and a lot of people forget to do and get frustrated by this, is you want to go back to settings, hit the mail context calendar icon on the side again, and then click on the UCI um, account right here. Um, see at the bottom where it says mail days to sync? Select that and hit no limit. Um, if you have already synced up your uh, mail app with the UCI email address, you'll find that a lot of times everything in your inbox goes away after three days. This is the reason why and it can be frustrating. If you set it to no limit, every single email in your inbox will be uh, on the mail app. Um, and then everything else looks good. We're going to hit done and then get out of there. And just to show you, I'm going to go to mail. I'm going to go to mailbox. And you'll see that there is a UCI folder now. Um, and, you know, there's my UCI uh, 
there's my UCI account. So hope that works. And quick aside, uh, in Calendar, now under if you click Calendars, it will say UCI, and then I can show it. And so all my events.